Hey, how's it going? Today, we're doing some taming. So, we're gonna be going out and grabbing a gator. And not just any gator, we're going for one of the Ark Editions, Dinosuchus. It's kinda like a Sarko, just a lot bigger. You guys voted on the channel poll that you want to see that in the upcoming Better Boss fight. So, we need to go out, get a male and a female, come back, do a little bit of breeding, and kinda go from there. So one of the things I'm kind of worried about is whenever we tamed some of these the last time, we had some over on Lost Island, I think we got them from, is the saddles, right? So you make it in your inventory. The only thing is you can only do primitive ones. We had the upgrade station last time, so I could make this and then put it in there and upgrade it. We don't have that anymore. So the only way to get these is to take out the Savage Acro and hope that we get one of the drops. And I've been doing a little bit of farming off camera. I've got 16 of the adrenal glands that we need. We need to have 50 to craft a spawner. So we're not too far away. The good part is we have our tree houses in the redwoods. And I've been taking this guy out here. He's uh, <laughs> he's trying to heal up some, man. He had a little bit of a rough day yesterday. But they're all over the place out here, so it's very, very easy to get them. And I'm hoping by this weekend we'll have enough to spawn one in. And I want to use the apes, man. I want to go ahead and put some of our good helmets on them and stuff. And take them out here, and maybe maybe not right here, because we're really close to base, but over that way some. I want to go ahead and spawn it in, and try to take it out. It'll be kind of cool, man. Give us a chance to see how the apes do against a, a very, very large creature. So, for today, we need to grab some eggs. I think I already cleaned this out over here. Need to make a little bit more kibble. And then we'll head out and do some taming. So, you guys left me some comments about this right here. So, one of the problems I was having was getting up top, right? Because there's no way to get up there other than taking off one of the pieces of glass. Somebody left a comment about putting a ladder in here. I did, the only problem is, I didn't think about it, man. So with that slope there, and the crop plots, I can't actually climb up there. It kind of gets in the way. So I still have to remove one of the pieces of glass. And I didn't know if I would've used S plus greenhouse glass, I could've had it up there. And made it look like that, because you can change how the texture is on it. And I still would have got the, the bonus down here. But I mean, it's fine, it's fine. I like the skylights, kind of add something to base a little bit. However, let's check in here. I think that's where all my eggs are. It is. I started storing the eggs over here just for storage purposes. Let's do two, three, four, five, six. That should give us ten there. And then we think we have five in here, right? We do. So that'll be enough for taming for today for that. So first things first, we need to make up a little bit of this. Ten of you, we'll get that crafting, we'll throw these into there, we'll get that made. So while that's crafting, let's take a look. See on the scanner where we're going for, if there's even any on this map. Oh, we got the Dinotheriums on this map too, I totally forgot about those guys. So that's something I also want to do a boss fight with. Kind of curious, definitely want to do some breeding. The only problem is, we are kind of limited on space. I knew that was going to be a challenge. I mean, even the the gators are going to be probably half the length of this. Whenever we start putting them out for breeding and stuff. So it's going to get very, very crowded. Very, very fast. Wrong button. So as for the gators, we got two, four, six. We got seven on the map. Okay, that's kind of up by the... In between the blue obelisk and the lava island. That's just south of it. It looks like they're all around the same area. Oh, dude, that's fantastic, man. So here's what we'll do. We're down over here. We'll probably go on the Pella, just because it can land on water. I don't know, man. I like motorboating around on it. We'll fly over here and probably start at this inlet, check them here, and then just work our way down, and then loop back around this way. So it doesn't really matter if we get two high-level ones. We need at least one, right? One needs to be at least a level 135 or higher, and then we can always breed the rest in if we have to get a lower level for the other gender. So it's not that big of a deal. Makes it a little bit harder. But is what it is. Let's do 10 of these. And then we should be good on everything else, right? Got all of our other stuff. I wonder if we have some more ammo. I was using some of that whenever we were, or I was, out forming up some of those adrenal glands. I don't. Can we make some? We can. We'll let that craft. That'll give us a stack of 100. And we should be good on there. Alright, so there's the last one of those. And then Wingman Jr. is not on screen, so it should be fine to take him and not have to worry about it. Not there. They would have crashed up so slow, man. A couple more, we should be good. Should be good on food and everything else, too. We'll grab a little bit of water before we go. Well, I mean, we're going to be on the water, so we should be fine. All right, let's jump on the Pella. See if you got any points. 
You do? Let's do movement speed. It's a little slow, man. I like the bird. It is a little slow. So here's the thing. In the next video, we're going to have the Kraken's Better Dinos turned on. And it's supposed to add a lot of functionality to a lot of the teams. One of the main things I'm really excited about is something little. But a lot of the birds that can't walk backwards, you can actually walk backwards with them. So it's, <laughs> it's going to be nice, man. Moving like the Argentavis around and stuff that normally can't do any backwards movements. It's going to add some stuff to our apes as well. So the apes will be able to use weapons as well as their armor. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty good fight against a Savage Acro. So it's definitely gonna change the way stuff is. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a it's a good thing because it adds a lot of stuff to the dinos and the creatures. The bad part is I'm gonna have to relearn everything I know about Ark. So it's kinda a little bit worried, man. It's a little bit a little bit terrifying if you think about it. However, I will see you over here at the Blue Obelisk. We'll look for some gators, try to get some tamed up, hopefully not get munched on. I totally forgot to bring a creature to to ride on. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. We've got the shotgun, if ever, if anything. We shouldn't need one of the raptors. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. I should probably go get one. Alright, <laughs> let me grab a raptor, and I'll see you at the blue obelisk. It's always a terrifying thing to see, man. A big old leaves jumping out of the water and something munching on it. That's an alpha one, too. Oh, that's some of those Ark Editions fish, right? Oh, dude, that was a dolphin. Yep, I see. I see the shark. It's some of those weird... I forget how you pronounce it. it starts with an X. It's probably some of those down there. I hate those things. It's something I might end up disabling for Ark Editions. There are just too many of them in the water. A little Loch Ness monster over there. <laughs> a little bracky. All right, anyways. So, <laughs> we're out here for something totally different. We need to keep our eye out for some gators. There's supposed to be some... Around here, let's get up a little bit higher. Easier to see a little bit. Got a lot of mantis. The water looks fantastic today. That's probably why Junior's over there in for a swim. There's a Spino. Paleo one. Ah, oh, dude, we need to tame one of those here soon, too. I really like the color pattern on them with the way that the sails are and stuff. So the main thing we need to do is just find at least one high-level one. Get down to where we can see a little bit. Might have to use a scanner, because I thought they were supposed to be right here at the inlet. There is- Oh, there's a 140 nearby! Okay, so... Where is it, though? Let's go over here a little bit. Oh, wait, there's one there. That's the 140! Fantastic! Right by a Spino! Not quite so fantastic! Level 55, cool color pattern. I like it, I like it. Ah, uh, dude. We really need to get some of those tamed. Alright, let's 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 land over here. We will get rid of the Spino. And we need to make it somewhat calm around. So with the gators, if you didn't know, what you have to do is you have to wait for it to get out on the beach, right? Where it's kind of sunbathing, and then it'll open its mouth. You have to sneak up to it. Totally forgot to bring some ghillie or bug spray. And then you sneak some food into its mouth. <laughs> so that's kind of where we're at in life. And try not to get chomped in the process. Are we good? You gonna run that way? I let you guys fight that out. I just want to get rid of the Spino over here. Junior, let me talk to you for a minute. Oh, that's right. It's, that's, that's good, though. I mean, you got rid of one of the seagulls. That's the main thing I kind of want to go on, too. I don't want my food to go missing. Yep, yep. Don't go running now. Don't be scared. Yep, all fun and games until you die, huh? Alright, so we need that guy. To get out of the water. We're gonna be safe with seagulls. I do not want to lose my kibble, man. I wonder if we can... If we can lure him out of the water somehow. Is there anything in the water? There's not. That's a good thing. No piranhas. Buddy! It's a lovely day to be on the beach. I'm just saying, if, if you sat here with your mouth open, somebody might actually feed you a little bit of kibble. I'm just saying. It's a possibility. I don't know for sure. Maybe you should try it out. Get rid of these guys while we're here. Ah, uh, they're out of range too. The only thing about this shotgun versus the fabricated one is it's a lot shorter range. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Yep, that carcass. All right, let's see if he'll actually go to the shore. Maybe we'll drag him over. Get a little bit of aggro. Yep, that's a very very big bite. Please do not hit me with it. Yep, that thing would have sucked, man. All right, let's get up here out of the way. Try to lose aggro. I might have to throw the bird back out. Alright, stay there, buddy. Stay there. You're alright! You're alright! Big old jaws smacking on people. 
No. Okay, let's um let's do this. Gotta be fast, gotta be fast. Alright, so he's on the beach. We should be fine. We should be fine. Should be. Doesn't mean we will be. I'm just saying we should be. Let's put this down here. Alright. Buddy. You gotta work with me here. All you need to do is open that big old mouth, man. Yep. Stay over that way, though. There we go. There we go. Keep your mouth open. It'll be fine. I'm gonna just play dentist and check your teeth. Maybe throw you some treats. Oh, that's right. He has to be on the beach for it to work, right? Wait, there we go. Nice, nice. Okay, so there's one. Let's get out of the way. Let's get out of the way. Why are you so angry? Okay. Why are they working together? Oh, they're not. I thought they were both working together for something. Okay, we're good. We're good. Gator's still coming for us. Stay out of the water. Please stay out of the water. Please don't come for me either. Okay, well, he preferred the raptor over some kibble. Wouldn't have been my choice, but I mean, it is what it is. Everybody has their preferences. It's fine. <laughs> These things always make me nervous, man. That is a very large, very large mouth to be chomping down on you. All right. We should be, what, one more? We should be good? I didn't see what percent it was at. Nice, man, nice. Ah, oh, dude, it is so simple, long as you don't get bit by him. So, there's our male. All we need is a female. Let's check out some stats. Tell you what, let's get on the bird. Let's get in the air. Seems how it's a little bit unsafe. I like the taming mechanics with arc additions. It's nice, man. It's it's stuff that's different, but it's not super complicated. I mean, other than the acro, but I mean that is a very big creature, so it's still not too bad. So what we got on this guy is it is a 140, tamed out to be level 209. We have 28 on the health, not too bad. 26 on the damage, again, not too bad. 31 on stamina and 34 on weight. So those are pretty good. Like I said, 30 is kind of like my, my medium point. So anything above it is great. Anything below it's kind of like, eh, it's mediocre. The actual readouts for the stats are 8,500 on the health, 1,200 on the stamina. Weight is 1,176 and 357 on damage. So what we need to find here is a female. We should be good to go. Let's see if there's any around. There's none close by, but these other ones were... Wasn't there some more? There is. So we'll kind of fly along the river here. Try to find these two, see what they are, and then... Well, there's actually three on this river. And then if I don't find any that's high level, we'll loop back up around here. I don't want to tame anything lower than like a 135, if possible. I mean, that all kind of changes if we can't find a high level one. So let me see what we can find. Do a little bit of sightseeing here, and we'll kind of go from there. So there's our first one. That is a male level 20. Not a good start at all. The other one should be just around the corner here. If I read the map right. The problem is going to be if we don't find another high level one. Then we have to get all of the all of the stats changed over from one to the other. You know what I mean? So it's kind of it's kind of better but worse at the same time because at least you have a clean slate with the lower level one to get everything moved over. It just dude, sometimes it takes forever to get everything to move from one creature to another one. But it's kind of cool how you can do that, right? Breed the lower level with the higher level and then get a very good pair. It just takes some time sometimes. Where is that other one at? There's one right there. So there's a female, but it's only a level 50. It'd be super easy to tame. I kind of want to wait, though. So this one's going to be... Where are we at on the map? Okay, right there where it does that little horseshoe shape. All right, let me find the other ones. And then we'll just tame the highest level female that we can find. So this is the last one. Oh, and it's a low level male. So here's the thing, man. I've only found one that's decent level. It's a level 90 female. And, I mean, that's still super low. So we'll have to get all those stats changed over like we were talking about. The, the main problem with this, <laughs> it's all the way back. All the way back by the swamp, man. There are piranhas in the water. They were nipping at the bird. Speaking of that, I need to land and get some stamina. So, it's going to be kind of interesting. The cool part is it had a different color pattern than normal ones. So, at least that'll kind of be a little bit different. I don't see the other one. There's one or two that I missed along here. I don't know where they're at. They might have been down deep and I just kind of flew over them. But all the other ones were males and they're all super low level. So, we kind of lucked out with that 140 male. But Alright, let me get over here where the level 90 female is. 
And we'll go ahead and try to get that one tamed. Hopefully, it'll be just... Well, I mean, the two kibble should be enough. It kind of sucks that one piece of kibble won't work, but I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky, and one of the stats on the female will be higher than the male. I mean, at least it'll be worth it then, right? All right, so right down there is a gator we're going for. Like I said, it's right on the edge of the swamp, so we do have piranhas and stuff in the water. So what we need to do is get that guy to aggro on us and get him out of the water and try to get it to, uh, to do a little bit of sunbathing, right? I know, lay in here, buddy. Stick your little feet in. He might nibble on him, but it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Yep, there we go, there we go. It'll be all right. There we go. He is out of the water. So let's go ahead and just get over here out of the way. Pick you up. I want to put him down on my hotbar, just in case, man. <laughs> we need to make a quick getaway. It'll definitely be useful. All right, buddy. See what we're talking about? It's got a different color pattern. Not a fiend of the colors, but at least the pattern's different. All right, sneak up. Stay there, man. Look at these teeth. Yep. Okay, there we go. Yo, oh, dude. I know, man. That is terrifying when he does that. You're fine. You're fine. Buddy, do not, <laughs> do not go to the water, man. I'm trying to warn you. Okay. Okay. We're good. Close the mouth, dude. Yo, oh, they are fast, man. They are fast. I need to get on the bird and just fly up. Come down here so you can open your mouth on the beach. I think it's slowing down. That poor dodo is going to be in the line of fire. There we go. Lost interest. Oh, he's got his mouth open. I can hear it. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. <laughs> it's it, nothing like playing peekaboo with a, a big old mad gator. I'm just saying. Hungry one at that. Yep, good time to do that. I'm just saying. All right, look. We're going to have to get the bird out. Yep. Good thing we were almost out of stamina. I didn't really pay attention to that. Alright, uh, you can't reach me, man. Just calm down, relax a little bit. Getting towards the evening time. Got a little dinner snack for you. Just saying. Gotta be nice, though. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. It's a key there. And we should be good. Alright, buddy. Please not right there. That is the worst possible spot. It's alright, though. Yep, I see you. You see me? You got a big old eyeball on me? Nice, man. Nice! Ah, oh, dude, I tell you what, it's always nice when that kind of taming's done with. So, let's get in the air, take a look at our stats, go back to base, do a tiny bit of breeding, see where we're at in life. So for the female, it was a 90, teamed out to be level 134. It came out with 19 on the health, 26 on the stamina, 20 on the weight, and 17 on the damage. Comes out at 6200 on the health. 1,080 on the stamina, weight is 980, and 294 on damage. It has no better stats than the male. So it's kind of a good thing. Like I said, it makes it easier, because then we just have to get all of the stuff from the male to the female. But, like I said, it's nice when you have one or two points. It's a little bit higher on the, on the other one. But is what it is. It's going to take a lot of breeding. Uh, dude, I'm not guaranteeing that we'll get our breeding pair today. But we'll start working on it, see how it goes, and then... We'll see how much room we got on the platform. I'm kind of curious how that's going to work out because, like I said, the platform, I mean, it's a big treehouse. But when you start getting large creatures, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to get crowded very, very fast. So I will see you back at base. Try to get some eggs. At least we'll be back at base. It is getting dark out. We'll have some nice lights to kind of brighten everything up some. All right, so we'll leave Junior back up top like usual. There we go. Easy, easy. Nice landing. <laughs> it's nice, man. Everybody made it back with all their fingers and toes. Can we please get over that railing? Holy crap, dude. All right, so. Let's, uh, I was going to throw Wingman down, but let's go ahead and put our kibble into here. I tell you what, we made it back right before the rain. Even though it rains in here, at least we're back at home. All right, so the raptor back out. Enjoy the sunset, man. The nice fresh air. We'll throw these guys outside over here. Start the breeding process. Yeah, see, man, they are massive, dude. <laughs> Almost a whole, whole length of the platform this way. All right, so where is? There we go. Can I even get to the other side? I have to use Wingman, maybe. Yeah, we can make it. All right, so they lay their eggs. We should be able to pick it up with the hatchery all the way from over there, and then 
Need to make some saddles, too. How are we doing over here? Throw all these eggs into... Storage? Wait, not that. And let's make a saddle, just so we can move those guys around a little bit better. I really... <laughs> I really gotta fix the holes in my base, man. I just want a solid roof, dude. It kind of mutes the thunder and lightning, too, whenever it does that. Alright, so we almost got a saddle. We'll just put it on the female. That way we can move her around. Alright, well, you know the routine. I'm gonna sit here, wait for a couple eggs. We'll throw them in the egg incubator, see what we have. And the main thing we want to do is just get a good... I mean, mainly the female. That's a that's the main one we need to get changed out as soon as possible. And then we'll kind of just do our, our breeding that way, see what we come up with. And hopefully, get us a good breeding pair before we go. There we go. Got our first egg. Were they always purple? That was a different color last time. I don't know. It's been a while since we messed with those. So it's going to be a male. And I think... What well, does it matter? We have the good male, right? We're not going to get any more stats from the female changed over. So I don't think it'll be any difference. I think everything looks the same anyways. Oh, the... The damage is down. Oh man, this is gonna take a while, I think. Oh, dude, this is gonna suck. Well, it'll probably be morning before we get some, and watch, there's gonna be a bunch more now, isn't there? I mean, there's a few. A couple have respawned in over here. I should have killed those off. I might go through and kill these off, too. Oh, there's a bunch of these respawns. See, that's what I was talking about. Well, there's only one normal one, but the paleo ones? Those things seem to be respawning very, very fast, and they're always down in... Oh, there's actually one up there. I looked up there when I was hunting and couldn't find one. There's two, three, four. There's four of them in there. But they were all down here in the redwoods. Kind of made it super easy. I'll have to check over there on the island, too, to get some more. But a good thing with the dinosuches, well, as you can see, they mate very, very fast. So we should be able to get a good bit of eggs, and it shouldn't take too long. I think Junior here is going to be very, very bad, isn't it? Where is he? Yeah, just horrible stats, man. Ah, oh, dude, it's gonna take forever. All right, remove you. And then what are these guys for? Why did these hatch? I wonder if... Let's remove these. I don't want any more. I wonder if it has to do with... This was full the other day. It's not picking them up quick enough. And they're hatching. Ah, oh, it's another one of those creatures. So the raptors do that too. If you don't have that to pick up the raptor eggs, it will actually, it's a good temperature for them to hatch. Kind of had an issue with that, too, so, hmm, that's kind of interesting. Something to keep an eye on. I heard an acro out here. Thought I saw the tail from one. I wonder if it got killed over here. Probably should have brought a team. Didn't really think about it. It's all right, wingman. <laughs> Tell you what, buddy, you better get your stamina back just in case. I want to grab that adrenal gland if something killed it off. Oh, it did. It got to a fight with the bear. Buddy! <laughs> That's fantastic, man. You look a little bit rough, I'm just saying. There we go. I'll be taking that. Thank you. And, uh, you can keep the rest. Kind of cool colors. It's like, oh, dude. Oh, I tell you what. I hate those things. Galleys are almost worse than micro raptors. They always scare me so bad. But the colors are pretty cool in this guy. Kind of like a lime green almost and some orange. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we got another adrenal gland. Let's get up here. We got some more eggs, too. Take a look and see what we got. I don't know if when we do taming for the acros, I wonder if getting them in a trap would be any easier. I don't know if that's a thing, right? So sometimes whenever you trap stuff, it kind of blocks you from taming them. It might be something we do some science on, just to test it out and see how it works, even if it's a low-level one that we don't want to keep. Because there are quite a few that spawn over here. We could easily get one to follow us into that trap there. Hmm. Anyways, so what we got over here. Oh, let's leave this before something happens to it. There we go. 17. 17 of 50. We're, <laughs> we're almost halfway there. What you got? One egg. Well, I'll tell you what. Please be a female. <gasps> Was that twins? Triplets! All males! All horrible stats! Dude, I'll tell you what. So as we get the females, if we get some, like, say we get a female that has even one of the stats that are good, we're gonna have to take that one raise it up, and then change them out. That way we can start moving stats over, because if we try to wait until we get that perfect roll to where it has all the good stats, we might be here for days, man. Oh, dude, so yeah, it's gonna be, uh, 
gonna be that slow process of slowly moving one to the other. I don't think we've ever done that before with breeding, so we'll, uh, we'll see how long it takes. They already got another egg getting ready almost. Oh, dude, it's fantastic how they don't wait forever. Alright, so we finally got a female, <laughs> and it's got one of the stats moved over. Ah, oh, dude, we couldn't have at least had two. So we got the damage moved over, so what we'll do, we'll go ahead and throw it out. Let it get all raised up. The thing that sucks is we don't have the mutator to speed it up. Ah, should we do this inside? Probably. That way I can keep an eye on it. So we'll throw it out. Ah, oh, they're so tiny. They get so big, man. I wish there was a little, little one, right? Little mini one. A little bit bigger than this than we can ride on it. I mean, we're almost the right size. <laughs> cool colors on it, though. Anyways, we'll get this one raised up. We'll leave that one on breeding, too. Set this one out, and maybe between the two of these, we'll have a higher chance of getting one that has all the stats. I do like the colors on this one, though. Kind of neat. Was there... some on the mail from this? I'm guessing, maybe it's it's just missing the green from this one, which is kind of nice. I'm not a fan of green, so it's nice that it's missing it. So it looks pretty cool. So anyways, I let this guy get raised up. How fast are you maturing? Super slow. Holy crap, dude. But we're not using tech really on this map, so it is what it is, man. It's gonna be a long night. Oh, dude, this is gonna be a long night. Should probably check my food, too. We're doing fine. Holy crap, I had a bunch of chitin in here, and it's already gone. Let's pull a little bit more over. Let's pull another 500. The only thing about the cinema crops, man, they got such a large appetite. Holy crap, dude. So we might have lucked out. I think we got all the good stats on this one. It's a female. So that's the one that we were raising. Let this thing hatch up, but it looks like it's got the 28 on the health, it's got the 26 on the damage. Stamina's at 26, that might be good. And then the weight's 34. One of those might be lower than the male. It's a male! Ah, oh, dude, I thought that was a female. Oh, that would've been perfect, because it has all the stuff that we need. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks, man. We can do it without the stamina, if it happens. But, oh man, I did not see that that was a male! I'll tell you what, oh, dude, I thought we just hit the lottery there. <laughs> that would have been fantastic. It's all right, Junior's at about 10% almost, so we're getting there, man, we're getting there. Ah, oh, dude, that got me, though. I need to look at the gender before I get all excited. All right, so we got an actual female one, and we have all the good stats. So we're missing some on weight and some on our stamina. Not too worried about that. That's two stats. It's not going to really matter for the boss fight. We can always breathe those back in later or change out our good breeding pair. So we will take this one. This one, <laughs> it is growing up, but we'll get rid of it. We don't need it for right now. Let's throw, wait, which is the, oh, those are horrible stats. Oh, dude, there's so many bad stats. Let's go ahead and just get rid of it. And then this one we'll throw out. Oh, it's going to take forever for it to grow up, but we should be fine. What's the colors look like? Oh, it's the exact same as the other one. I was going to say, I really like the color pattern on the other one, even though it had bad stats, but that's cool, man. So like I said, I'll still leave this one breeding just while this one's raising up. Like I said, we might get something special maybe a mutation or whatever and then we'll let that one raise up and we'll change that out for sure and we should be good to go let's double check over here oh that is fantastic man we got one more let's throw it in hatch it see what it turns out to be never know we might get our good ones with the weight in the stamina too and we're not it's going to have the lower health on it I mean, that one's still good, but it's got the lower health. I'd rather have the lower stamina and the lower weight than lower health and lower weight. So we'll get rid of that one. Nice, man. So all we got to do now, wait for Junior to raise up, and we should be good to go. Change out that one, and I think the male should be fine, and that'll kind of be our breeding pair. I, I went a little bit quicker than I thought it was gonna. I mean, <laughs> like I said, sometimes that can take forever, man. Oh, uh, dude, it can take forever. We only went through what? Three? I mean, that's the fourth one there, so that's not too bad, man. No, not bad at all. Nice, lovely morning as well. So here's the thing. <laughs> it keeps happening. That one is like 25% raised up. And we got another female. This one's even better because we have all of our good stats. We're missing some on food. Don't care about. Missing some on oxygen. Don't care about. So we're definitely going to set this one out for the third time. Oh, that thing is super ugly though. I really like the colors of this one. Ah, oh, dude, that's gonna suck, man. We should... I tell you what, I'm gonna let both of them raise up. We'll keep them both. And then kind of go from there, because... Well, maybe we can always change out... We can always change out... Ah, uh, the colors, right? Try to get them from the male next time. 
We're going for stats. I don't want to go for colors. We'll do color breeding later. Uh, dude, I hate to do it. Let's get rid of this one. Let's just do it. Let's just remove it. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Just so I don't try to keep it for later. Let's get rid of it. We'll throw it off the cliff here. That is a, that's a long ways down. There we go. So now we're stuck with it. <laughs> it's probably for the best. It has all the good colors. I mean, all, well, it has a horrible colors. It has all the good stats. That's the main thing, right? So don't care about food. Don't care about the oxygen either. But at least we have a good one, 100%, and don't have to worry about moving any more stats over. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off. And I'm going to grab your saddle. Go ahead and pick you up. And that is good. We will hold on to this one just in case. I usually do that anyways. Hold on to it until we're... Is that another one that hatched? It is. I wonder why these guys keep hatching, man. It's picking them up fairly fast. They must hatch super, super fast as soon as they hit the ground. Because there is an interval, right, where the nest will actually pick them up. It kind of waits for, I don't know, like 15, 30 seconds after it drops it. And those things are just hatching super fast. Oh, I thought that was an egg. Let's see, let's see what happens, but... Alright, anyways, so all we gotta do now, again, is wait for this guy to raise up. It's gonna be like the third day, man, by the time we actually get a good breeding pair. But... We got our good one there, man. Oh, that's all that matters. Let me give you the saddle before I forget that I have it. Alright, so our little dude should be ready. It is. Let's go ahead and pick her up. Make sure she's not stuck in the ground. <laughs> Finally get some breeding going. Ah, oh, dude, it's actually the end of another day. It's taking quite a while. So, the stats turned out to be as it is imprinted and everything, 100%. We've got 10,000, almost 300 on the health. Stamina is 1230, not too bad. Weight is 1411. That is not bad at all. And then 421 on the damage. So, these things should turn out to be beasts once we get them all raised up. Let's do 80 on you. You should still be on... It is. So, all we gotta do is wait for a... Wait for another egg. And that should be a good breeding pair. So, we got the good male stats and the female stats. Like I said, we're just missing the ones on the... What was it? Oxygen and food? Not really worried about those. Hey, well, man, we're getting so many eggs. I made up as much kibble as I could. I changed out some of my crop plots. So the main thing we need for the kibble that we're making is the long grass and then the saver root. So this one right here. So I went ahead and took two of those and replaced the, was it, the citronella and then the rock carrot, whatever they're called. I replaced those up there with the ones that we need. That way we should have a little bit more because I am kind of out of vegetables. Close the doors. I should turn ours on auto close. We're starting to get quite a few eggs. That's the uh, that's the thing. Once we get enough eggs, I'll probably go ahead and fill this up. I'm thinking maybe we'll keep a full stack of kibble on hand, and then once that's done, we'll go ahead and turn off the breeding on those guys. I don't want to have too many eggs, man. Like I said, I'm trying to keep everything kind of small and compact on this map, and not have too much extra stuff. And you are at 60%. Holy crap! The mating process takes forever. The in-between, like whenever you get done with one egg and waiting for another goes fast, but just waiting for the whole mating process takes forever. See hey, what? A little bit of breakfast. I guess dinner it would be, right? Seems how it is nighttime again. See hey, what that sun coming in. Holy crap, is that bright? Alright, so there's our egg. Take a look at some stats real quick and see what it is. So this is another female. And I can't remember what the stats are for for that one. We'll have to see how it comes out. Wouldn't mind getting some mutations, though. Oh, dude, that would be fantastic to get another one on the health or the damage. Definitely help out with the boss fights. I don't think, with the size of these guys, that we're going to actually be able to fit them all on the platform. That's something we'll test out here before we go. We'll go ahead. I tell you what, let's grab the saddle off of this one. Probably take the female one with us. We'll do a little bit of testing. I wanted to see how they fit on the platform. I think we might only be able to get maybe 10 or so on the platform. Just because of tails, man. They're so long. Oh, dude. We got more of these guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. They are hatching so fast. So this is the one female. We can go ahead and get rid of it. That was our original one. And then this is another good one here. All the same stats. Oh, nice, man. Nice. So yeah, that's going to be our final stats on our breeding pair that we have in our boss fight ones. It'll come out to the 10,300 on the health, the 1,200 on the stamina, weight will be 1,400, and 421 on damage. And then the number values are... 28 on health, 31 on stamina, we got 34 on weight, and 26 on damage. So let's throw this one out. Let you start raising up. 
Oh, got good colors on this one. Oh, I like that one. Well, we'll go ahead and replace that one, too. Once this one is raised up, seeing how we got all the good stats on it. Ah, dude, that is fantastic. We'll change that ugly colored one out. Put it in for the boss fight ones. We'll still use it. And this will be our breeding one. So I'll tell you what, what time is it? Middle of the night. Let's go ahead. Pick you up. We'll hop on the pterodon. It's a little bit faster. And we'll head over before we go and do a quick check and see. Let's turn the lights up. It's going to be very, very dark. And we'll see how they look on the platform. Like I said, that'll kind of judge on how many we're going to need for the boss fight. I'm thinking probably 10 or 12 is all that we'll take. But it kind of works out because they do a lot of damage, right? Especially with their gigabyte. So it shouldn't be too bad in the boss fights. Of course, I say that now. Don't forget we don't have a healing pig or a UD for boosting. So it'll, it'll be interesting. Probably should have brought something with me to protect us while we're over here. It's usually quite a few wolves. We good for a change? Holy crap, there's nothing over here to kill us. <laughs> Doesn't usually happen that way. Alright, so. Oh, lights down. Hey, it's so bright over here, man. Why are you running? Oh, somebody had a bad day. Oh, that was one of the Smilodons. So yeah, see, man, these things are massive, dude. So we'll probably be able to get... So I was looking, too, whenever the... We did the other boss fight. It looks like the ring goes all the way out just to, like, right here. So we don't have too far to be able to place them and everything. So we should be able to get ten. We'll do five. Five across the front, five across the back. I'll probably aim at maybe making twelve or fourteen. And we'll throw out as many as we can when we go to do the boss fight. It's the tails, man. The tails are the main thing on these guys because... They do all have clipping, right? I kind of noticed that whenever we were over at base, that they don't really stick through the walls too much. So they are all solid tails, which, I mean, is a good thing. <laughs> I guess it's kind of a good thing. But it'll definitely dictate on how many we can put on that platform. Well, not too bad of a day. We got us both of our gators. One was high level, one was super low level. But breeding kind of fixed it. We got all that sorted out. We do have our breeding pair. Decent stats. I'm happy with it. I'll make up some more of the primitive saddles. We'll do some more breeding. And then that'll kind of sort us out for the better boss fight. I think we need to grab some more of the animal parts and stuff. I'll kind of have to go back and see. I can't remember if we need squid tentacles for this one or not. If so, we'll do a little bit of fishing. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.